you start realizing the excuses that you would use for not going to the gym, the excuses that you would use for maybe deviating from your diet, the excuses that you would use for not reading those 10 pages because you're tired, you want to go to sleep are the same excuses that you're using in every other area of your life. So I know that there are like four main excuses that you hear. What are some of the excuses that you hear and how do you overcome that? How do you overcome it is, is the difficult part. Um, but some of the main ex excuses, one of the big ones for me is this is stupid. Um, which when it pops up, you're like, huh, that's funny. I actually am thinking this is stupid. Because when you set these goals and you go to do these things on a daily basis, you're like, well, I'm not gonna think it's stupid because it's getting me towards my goal. But then when it's, you know, 1130 at night and you haven't done whatever you're supposed to do yet, you're like, man, this is so stupid. Why am I doing this? Um, and some of the process that we're going through, especially with this 21 day challenge, some of the morning and evening routines, like they are stupid. I'm just gonna say, they're not. They are getting you to honor your word, but there are things that when you're doing it, you're like, what am I doing? Like dry brushing, like brushing every inch of your skin. I'm like, what the hell am I doing? This is so stupid. Um, but that's probably an excuse that you're using in every other area of your life. like. I need to make, make these phone calls. Well, it's, man, this is so stupid. No one's gonna answer, you know, whatever. Um, I forgot is a huge one. And that's the one where you really, there's, it's like the best excuse in the world because there's nothing you can do. Like, I forgot, like, what do you want me to do? I forgot. It's like, it's almost as, I mean, obviously someone can hold you to the fact that like, maybe you should have had some type of process in place to remind yourself. But if you forgot, you forgot. Um, but again, that's another interesting thing to see what are the other areas of your life where you're just forgetting to do the things you're supposed to do. Um, pain is another excuse that's very real. Um, you know, if you're in pain and you can't or feel like you don't want to do something because it's painful, like that's a very real, real thing. Um, but only through over the course of time of doing something even when it's painful, and I'm not talking about injury painful, but like soreness painful. Um, only doing that over time where it's like, man, I'm really sore, but I'm just gonna knock this run out or knock this workout out. Um, over time, you realize it's like, yeah, there's gonna be pain, there's gonna be discomfort. It's not like I'm gonna hurt myself and I just need to get it done. Uh, what was the fourth one? Do you remember? Yeah, I don't know what it is right off the top of my head. Um, but the key with all these excuses is number one, just being aware of them when they pop up. So part of the process that we go through with this 21 day challenge, we're doing things right when you wake up and right before you go to sleep is you're going to journal the excuses that pop up. Even if you do it still just processing like, okay, the second I opened my eyes this morning and I knew I had to, to do this kind of morning routine. What were the thoughts that instantly popped in my head as to why I wouldn't do it? Yeah, you know, for me, a lot of times it's like feeling rushed or tired or like I need to get going. Like I need to get out, need to get out, of, out of the house, like I need to get moving. I don't have time to do all this stuff. Uh, that's a big one for me. Um, but just being aware of those things. And then as you become more aware of the excuses that start popping up, especially the ones that it's a pattern, like, man, every morning it's that this is stupid or every night it's that I forgot then you can start putting processes in place to make sure that those things don't take you away from what you're supposed to do. And it makes you hyper aware of when those excuses pop up in other areas, like more like super important stuff that you have going on. Like, dang, that's the same excuse that I had this morning. This morning I had the excuse, but I still did it. Maybe I should, <laughs> maybe I should try and do what I'm trying to do now. Support. That was the other one. Oh, support. Yeah, like my spouse doesn't support me or my business partners don't support me. My family doesn't support me. Um, you know, I was out late with my friends and, you know, I told them I had to go back and do this thing and they said it was stupid, you know, whatever. Um, that, that one I don't really like so much. I don't think that one is, is valid um, as the others because this whole process is a, is a internal game. Like it's, it's just about you. Um, you have these team members that are supporting you, um, are supposed to be supporting you, but at the end of the day, it's all up to you. Um, so I don't really give much validity to 
someone saying, oh, I didn't do my morning routine because no one was supporting me.